Seven Sisters is said to be one of the most dramatically beautiful hikes in the southeast of England. We are about to drag ourselves up and over these picturesque white cliffs from Seaford Beach to Eastbourne Pier for 21.8 kilometers with a couple of challenges along the way. You who welcome back. If you're new to a Canadian abroad, I'm Michelle. Today we're back out exploring with some familiar faces and we're about to take on this famous geological phenomenon on the Sussex Heritage Coast. Wait, that's the first hill? Yeah. Okay, it's gonna be fine. Every challenging ramble starts off the same way. No, not with a 19th century defensive fortress, which is cool, but with a collective sense of cautious optimism. My, uh... Hamstrings are already loving the incline. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, going to be very interesting. Well, there's the first part you go down and then there's... I think I might be having a Charlie Brown moment. But... And we won't mention the third part. We've been uh, talking about this hike for... How long have we been in this country? A year and a half? Yes. Yeah. A year and a half? We're finally doing it? Oh, wow. I love that it's like spectacular at the start. <laughs> like it's only gonna get better. Wait, that's a golf course? Yep. Yeah, so that's the tee box up there, and that's the hole. Wait, oh, tee box there? At the top. Wow, what a place to I know. play golf. Thought to have been formed by glacial meltwater at the end of the last ice age, the Seven Sisters have been carved and shaped by years of sea erosion into the crumbling cliffs we see today. Oh, look at the big cracks in there. That is a big crack. Speaking of uh, crumbling. Hmm. It is said that the views are so incredible, the difficulty of the climb is hardly noticeable. It's beautiful, yeah, but agree to disagree. This is where the leg burn starts. This is why we do leg day. Never skip leg day. <laughs> It'll be later after lunch. Plus 14 teas. Oh yeah, the gin and tonics. I forgot about those. That was a great idea. No, it's a great idea. Be thankful for them later. That's yeah. right. Later we'll be glad we grabbed those. This is the part of our hike where the reality of an 1100 foot total ascent is starting to sink in. No, 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 don't be silly. Here, I got it. Did it come out at all? No, kind of not even, like, not even kind of slightly. The thing is, you go up the hill to come back down the other side of the hill to go back up over the next hill and do it over and over again. So what you're saying is that there's no, there's, you don't bring a girlfriend on this hike, yeah. break up with her in the first <laughs> kilometer. <laughs> no, leave the breakup to, you know, five and a half hours in. <laughs> But beyond every crest is a slightly different and equally breathtaking view. This is awesome. It's uh, more spectacular in person than I thought it would be. It's very beautiful. Yeah. Most rambles require an element of decision making, and this one is no exception. Explain why the low tide is important. Why? Because there's a part where we have to cross the estuary. Oh, I see. The estuary. The estuary. The estuary. Got it. It's where the river meets. Where the, the river is? meets the sea. That's yeah, so nice. Of course. How do I mean, you not you know this? I don't know. I just I didn't know. know. Ontario sure. people. Oh. <laughs> Anything about the ocean. Don't know anything about the, the ocean. Geological significance of estuaries and how it played a role in the uh, <laughs> settlement of the ancient Romans. Yeah. What? <laughs> I mean, if you could do that here on the spot, I'd be very impressed. So what's the difference between an estuary and a delta? While we discuss our knowledge of oceanography, we are about to try and shorten our 21.8 kilometer walk into 19K by traversing the beach. So the water like comes all the way up here. It looks okay, like parts of it, but it's- Yeah, I mean, I can understand the need for low tide. The guys are down there. We've got people with their shoes off. Uh, oh, Miles is committing to the shoe off scenario. And so are the rest of us. I, don't wanna do it. I think it would end. <laughs> all right, I mean, we'll, we'll meet you on the other side. We wait two more hours. 
I'm not waiting two more hours. No. Couple failed negotiation attempts and we're in. Ugh. Oh, it's super slippery. We're both going like this. I know, but when you're filming, you don't see you, you don't see me. No, it's on me. We're good. They're already done. But maybe if it was cold, we would know more feet. <laughs> That's true, actually, it would help. Almost. Okay, made it. Definitely need a little, little crunch. uh, yeah. crunchy kind of chocolate. That's quite the uh, crossing situation. Yeah. yeah, you know, you know what? My feet feel like they got a really hard massage. Yeah. Yeah. When you think about it like that. Feel a bit. Yeah. Feel a little fresh. Fresh. Fresh feet. A little pre-hill snack. Gonna need it. Yeah. It's a big one. It's a big one. It's a big one. Everything's gonna be fine. It's gonna be so much fun. Going up there first, Michelle? All right, here we go. There's beer at the end. Yeah, there's, you know, lunch, beer, plenty to look forward to. Pims, if you're lucky. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, thank God. It is short. Almost there. Oh, you're looking fresh. You're looking like you've done nothing. Cutest cool. thing ever. I think it's fair to say we've earned our first breast. Oh. Sit on the crest. Yeah, see, I think this is the tallest. Why not sit on it? No, just on the crest so we can see the. <laughs> yeah, I was know. gonna say we're not sitting. Michelle, we're not sitting anywhere near. The I'm not sitting anywhere near the edge. Just on the crest. It's like they know me or something. Well, what about the crest of the crest? What's the crest of the crest? It's like here. Is this good? Yeah, this is good. <laughs> okay, great. <gasps> they're back. They got crushed because they're in the other pack. <laughs> a hike is not a hike anymore without a Kendall Mint cake. Yeah. Yeah. If it's good enough for Sir Edmund Hillary, it's from good enough for us. We've now passed through that stage in the hike where the heat and delirium is starting to set in. Well, I'm sorry, run and that, no. You do it, demonstrate. Running? Sure. I think not. Here we go again, up another hill. It feels like a lot when you look at it from this angle. It's not nothing. It's not nothing. It's not nothing. Oop. This is how steep. <laughs> look at her. <laughs> Cow milk ice cream. Squirting its milk into my have, cone. When we were in the Peak Desert, we did have like what? cow milk ice cream. It was so good. It's gonna be fresh. Just in it for Hi. the ice cream. Ice cream obsessed and slightly delirious, we stop for a quick lunch break. It's my favorite time of the day. We're half an hour from being halfway. Including our lunch Jesus. break. Yeah, I think it'll take us six hours. Six hours. Well, on that note, we better get back at it. We've reached Burling Gap, a national trust site that offers refreshments, toilet facilities, a beach that you can comb for fossils at low tide, and incredible views. We could stop here and take the bus to Eastbourne, but we're gonna keep going. We've walked all of that. Oh yeah. I mean, that's pretty, when you look at it like that, that's 
that's pretty far. Little sunscreen reapplication. There comes a point in every physically demanding adventure where the complaints start rolling in. Of course, you wouldn't typically share your slightly exaggerated laundry list of grievances with the world, but this is a vlog. I feel like a bug magnet. A spider just landed on me. Really? Oh, where? When I say covered in bugs, oh yeah, I mean Holy like shit, absolutely covered, like just covered. But the view is nice. Just a bunch of complainers right now. This hike isn't for the faint of heart. Once you start, you're really in for it. My water's too warm. Where's the ice cream? Forget the bug. Oh, and the bugs. And also, can we go swimming now? That's where we're at. How many hours are we in now? Two. Two? No, you're lying. Uh, almost four. Almost four hours in. Yeah. This is where we're at. A bunch of complainers. Toughen up. Tough love. Sometimes it's better to walk backwards. You just gotta make sure you're not walking yourself off a cliff, you know? Or into a pocket. Ooh, good catch. Thank you, sir. Just have someone watch your back, literally. Arriving at Beachy Head marks the beginning of the end. And also a much anticipated ice cream break. My first Mr. Whippy. Wow. Yeah. It's yeah. a big deal. Oh. <gasps> it tastes like Cool Whip. Yeah. It tastes like Cool Whip. Oh, it's like straight Cool Whip. Yeah. That's straight up Cool Whip. Looking out over Eastbourne and the turquoise waters, it's kind of hard to believe that we're still in England. It's really nice. It smells really good, by the way. We have one last descent. This is the steepest downhill we've done. Which somehow feels worse than all the other hills we climbed. Tuck and roll to the bottom. Ready? Toss the egg. Set. Actually, uh, four and a half hours. Four and a half hours. We projected six six hours, and we did it in four and a half. Yeah. We're done. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. <laughs> what is your problem, bro? Like Eric, we could all use a little time at the beach for a little relaxation. <laughs> sip a gin, and a refreshing swim. Where's the sand? Where's the sand? Oh, 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 We're in! We're in, Belgium. <laughs> We're in. That was it. Oh, it was over. It. I'm loving it. Seven Sisters surely isn't for the faint of heart. It challenged us in unexpected ways and made for some really great memories. Let us know in the comments if you've hiked Seven Sisters and where you'd suggest we ramble next. Thank you for joining me. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you next time.